A juror sitting in on a trial into child sexual abuse caused the entire trial to collapse after conducting her own research into the trial, which is expressly forbidden. Now, if anyone's been watching the Johnny Depp trial when a witness is subject to recall, for example, or at the end of the day when the, judge re when the jury retire for the day, the judge will always tell them not to read the papers, not to look at the, inter the internet, not to talk to anyone about the trial as it can influence the jury's or witnesses' views. And the only information that should be taken into account is what's legally expressed within the trial itself, so within the courtroom. Now, you would expect that a case such as a child abuse trial be serious, and any legally trained expert would know that research outside of what's said in court is a fatal mistake to make for that trial. Well, you would think so, but perhaps not in this case, as the juror was in fact 53-year-old Caroline Elizabeth Mitchell, senior solicitor at Sheffield-based firm Irwin Mitchell, with more than a quarter century's experience. Mitchell didn't only do her own research into the trial, but the moron shared her findings with other jurors. Judge Kell QC, heading the trial at the time, said a court clerk saw Mitchell on her iPad while discussing what she had found with fellow jurors the next day. Her actions meant the trial, which related to a string of child sex offences dating back to the 1970s, was thrown out and had to be retried in November last year. Now, there doesn't appear to be any information that I've seen on when the original trial was, but that it was retired last year. However, Caroline Mitchell was sentenced on April 28th this year, last Thursday. It appears that Mitchell and her fellow jurors were given information about a room within a house, but the dimensions of the room were not available. She went onto a housing website to get the information regarding the dimensions, which she then took a screenshot of and shared with fellow jurors. Not exactly what you might consider trial breaking in itself, but the rules of the trial were there for a reason, and the rules were broken. Recorder of Leeds, Judge Guy Kell QC, said neither the prosecution or the defence in the case could provide evidence of the room's dimension at the time of the offending. The jury was shown a floor plan of the house, accurate as of 2018, but no dimensions were available. You could not but you found a floor plan of a neighbouring property, including its dimensions. You took a screenshot of those dimensions, retained it overnight, and took it, the iPad, to court the following day to show fellow jurors. After selection, you took an oath to try the case on the evidence you heard. Mitchell's actions meant the case at York Crown Court had to be thrown out and retried in November last year. Judge Kell QC said a retrial had come at the cost to the public and meant that the defendant and complainant had to unnecessarily give evidence to a different jury for a second time. Mitchell admitted to what she had done during a prepared statement given to the police in May last year. She pleaded guilty to disclosing information to jurors that was not evidence provided in court under the Juries Act 1974 at the first possible opportunity at York Crown Court in December. Sentencing Mitchell, Judge Kell QC, said she had recently lost her job after leaving the law firm voluntarily and was suffering from ongoing financial consequences, as well as depression. However, he still jailed Mitchell for two months, although she will be released on licence after serving just four weeks behind bars. Now, it's nice to see the courts taking seriously when somebody fails to follow the court's orders. Now, if we can just get them to act as proportionately with offenders who breach their sexual harm prevention orders, we might find less of those particular cretins reoffending. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.